Pisces, what's up? Welcome back to the Ellis Illuminator for your July reading. Thank you so much for your patience on me. Let's see what is going on for you, general, and love, and anything that comes up for you, okay? So, Gemini, uh, Gemini, are you, some of you are dealing with a Gemini? Pisces, what's going on? Oh, I love this. The awareness card that is the magician together with the crown chakra. And then we have the four of wands. A lot of downloads coming in. You seeing things clearly uh, lately. And also like th there may have been a blockage within the crown chakra where you could not receive all the information where you had like, you know, less hope or less hope in spirituality. But things are really changing. Your psychic awareness is really increasing or is about to increase a lot here. Uh, we've got firm foundation, which is talking about relationships, which is talking about the home life. Uh, grounded energy is coming through here. Uh, I see the moving on card and the patience and planning. So let's see what that is all about. But I do feel like this is more moving towards coma waters. So this is not like moving on from a relationship. No, this is just, you know, needing to get away or needing to get out of the house in order to uh, reconnect actually with your spirituality, reconnect with your goals and uh, perhaps even friends or family. All right. And I feel like with this patience and planning, you have a lot on your mind that you want to achieve. And Spirit is definitely asking you to write things down, to really, um, you know, have like a daily schedule as well as a three or six months schedule ahead of the things that you want to achieve because you will be definitely having like the wind. <laughs> Sorry. In Dutch, we say like the wind against or the wind. Uh, with you so I'm not sure if that is even in English but it feels like things are just smoothing sailing waters okay like things are going to be falling in its place um, very soon I feel like the moving on is just an indication that you ooh, that you are having a lot of peace of mind and releasing any type of negativity as the six of swords comes after the five of swords which is a lot of uh, bickering or fighting or um, you know anyone that has been throwing some type of shade upon you you're moving past that all right the answers you need are coming this is the full moon in gemini uh, card coming through so this this full moon in gemini which we already had a long time ago, but uh, that was in December, I believe. I feel like maybe something happened in December that you have not been receiving the full information about, and whatever that situation is, you may you may know it better than I do. Uh, you will be receiving the answer to that situation in this month of July. Okay. Let's see, emotions are running high. Ooh. Now it's getting a little bit interesting. Let's see what that is about. Let's see with the tarot. I'm getting a little bit sensitive. Maybe some type of argument may have been very heated in your life or emotions are just getting very heated. It could also be in a very positive sense, okay? Like, you know, when you get too excited and then you kind of like regret getting too excited about a situation because you're like, oh my God, I need to just chill out, you know, calm my titties or something. I feel like that could have also been the case. Let's see if this is... No, I don't feel like I was ready. I don't feel like the deck was ready. Let's see. But... The card wanted to come out, the moon. That was the first card that I saw. The moon is coming through. This is your energy. This is your psychic energy. So psychically, a lot of things are changing. You may be having a lot of dreams. You may be even um, wondering if people are hiding things from you, all right, with this moon card. You may be hiding a lot of your feelings yourself as well from someone, and this is... A reminder for you to break through those barriers okay to express your emotions because maybe 
whomever this person is that you are connected to it is opening up a lot of emotions within you and because you don't want to reveal them or have a lot of control over your emotions you're not being completely honest about your feelings you will not believe this the three of wands that was also part of the of the pile that fill, fill out so this is beautiful to see, right? Like even if you do put it back in, the, the message wants to come through. There is no way that we can stop the messages from tarot. And I love to see that. Ooh, let's see. I'm getting excited. There is something excited that is going on or that will be going on in your energy field. Look at that. The star coming through. The queen of swords. The king of wands. The nine of pentacles. The strength card, the queen of cups, yeah, you're trying to control your emotions, you're trying to um, keep your emotions un uh, under a lid, and I feel like you are behaving as a queen of swords here, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, sun, sun, Moon, or Rising Energy, where you're trying to... I feel like you're trying to um, turn your back towards a masculine fire sign here, Gemini, uh, Gemini, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo. You feel like you need to heal mentally from this individual. You're you're using your discernment. I feel like you're you're trying to turn your back towards this individual that is uh, most likely chasing you or is trying to get your attention but you're just not wanting to give them any type of attention because you feel like you need to focus on your healing all right or focus on your goals focus on what you want to achieve in your life so you're being very harsh or uh, straightforward with them uh, could be even uh, judgmental towards them like you know your energy does not really vibe with me or you're being very cold okay you're very being very detached and cold towards someone that is being very warm-hearted towards you uh, and if they're not being warm-hearted it, it's because they have a, a way of being very playful or very charming and you don't trust them you don't trust their uh, attention that they're giving you okay we have even the death card All right, we have the Two of Wands and the Hierophant. For some of you, for some of you, this is a, there is a masculine energy here. This might be a cross watchers read, but the masculine energy has an option, has two choices here between the feminine, two feminines, okay? That's one is you, one is the Queen of Swords, it could be an Aquarius individual. Um, it could be that this masculine energy is going to be putting an end to uh, the relationship with this Aquarius or this air sign um, female in order to move towards a more committed relationship. Okay, if you are the feminine that is watching here, you may be feeling like this masculine energy is dealing with two women, okay, and because of that, you're not trying to wear your heart on your sleeve, you are trying to um, restrain yourself, restrain your emotions and feelings, however, I do feel like a lot of emotions are bottling up for you, okay, <clears throat> you are definitely that beautiful queen of cups, you have a lot of deep love and emotions for uh, this individual, you have a very strong tie with this person but you may feel like this person is acting way too independent and um, you know distant from the relationship you may feel like you have a deep bond and a deep spiritual connection but you don't have like the necessary tools to bring this into fruition or bring this into a more practical relationship and you may be questioning yourself with the moon whether you can emotionally afford yourself to get involved with this masculine energy and i do feel like your emotions are really running high at this point or for this individual sometimes you don't want to admit that with the strength card you're trying to maintain in your power and your control restrain yourself and your emotions uh, because you you want to save and protect your independence and kind of like project the same type of 
energy towards them as in like well this masculine is acting like they are living the life and you know there's they're a free rider and all of that and I need to kind of like uh, pertain the same image and because of that I feel like a lot of things are getting a little bit mixed up here or not real true emotions are being expressed because there is some type of facade here with the moon right like both you and this person i feel like the reflection like the reflection of the moon right like you know when when the when the moon reflects his light upon the sea that's what i'm picking up on um i don't know how how that is called in in english i know in turkish it's called yakamos and it's very beautiful if you've ever seen it it's it's one of the most beautiful healing things to see um and i have never seen it truly in in holland actually maybe once in my life where you can see the reflection of the moon um on a dark sea but anyway i'm just getting a little bit side drifted <laughs> but anyway why did that come up maybe you're going to see that maybe you need to plan a trip towards um towards a place where you can see that there's going to be a lot of healing that's going to come out of it um and then we have the death card here so this is talking about a huge transformation let's see how that is going to be developing we are we eat <laughs> okay we even have like the moon child i just couldn't come out of my words but the moon child and the moon so and the queen of cups with the star so you are definitely a you know raising your vibration here you're raising your and we have the crown chakra with the awareness so psychically you will be receiving a lot of downloads and information and if we don't handle that information correctly we can feel like we're losing our mind we're just like oh my god uh, why am i receiving all this information is this even true so you will be receiving a lot of downloads in regards to your counterpart or uh, situations that you have been involved in um, that you may have had like a um, I want to say separation from already with the three of wands you've already disconnected yourself you're you've already moved towards the future and you're receiving downloads in regards to your past is what i'm picking up on why things happen the way that they happened answers that you have been seeking will be coming to you anyway let's see what this death card is talking about is an emotional release is a very intense emotional release that you are going to be experiencing Ooh, the magician so it looks like you you are quite in control and you are the one that is in, in uh, instigating or igniting actually this change <clears throat> this transformation some of you you may be transforming a lot of things in your life physically but also spiritually your habits something in that realm the king of cups see emotionally and the ace of pentacles for some of you i must say this death card this could be a scorpio energy right but someone that you've had an ending with is manifesting their way back to you all right this person is emotionally investing a lot in you and seeing your worth and value they're watching you and they want to manifest you back into their life this could be a masculine that has gone through some type of separation or ending or transformation in their life and i feel like this is the person that you hold back from but this is an emotional relationship or emotional and spiritual relationship that is about to come to fruition the two of wands is also indicating that a decision will be made after this masculine energy puts an end to another situation in their life and is moving towards a more practical um, conventional relationship here or a commitment it could also be that this king of cups water sign cancer pisces scorpio is ready for some type of commitment towards you what is this queen of cups saying about this that is you what is this queen of cups chariot wow <clears throat> 
You have also the death card at the bottom of the deck. I feel like your heart really wants to move forward. I mean, come on, look at this. You have the chariot, the lover's card and the uh, star. All right, so I feel like your heart really feels like it belongs to this individual. You feel very connected. You want to move forward with them. You have a lot of determination within you to make things happen. And I feel like finally the stars are getting in alignment. That's what I'm really hearing. Like the stars are getting in alignment for this connection to come into fruition. All right, this is a big thing. I, I If you are new, my, my readings don't you know, always go about butterflies and, you know, stars and all of that. But this is really a big deal, okay? A big deal that is about to happen in your life. And it's finally going to be reciprocating all the things that you have been putting in. I'm hearing really unconditional love or uh, an undying love that has been, that is coming back around to you, okay? Six of Pentacles is most definitely talking about some type of rebalancing of love here. I mean, that is just crazy. And I feel like both of you have gone through something very heavy, uh, released some type of karmic cycle or going through a huge transformation here. This is really amazing. Let me see what the outcome is here. So listen to your intuition about who this person is. Okay, listen to your intuition. What I'm also getting, by the way, is that Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, they were not the best match. Okay, the King and the Queen of Cups, they are the best match, right? Emotionally, they are understanding and compassionate towards one another, um, loving towards one another, open, receiving. And they're just the right match, right? They're, they're the same cup. But the Queen of Swords and the King of Wands, they're both very different energies. The Queen of Swords is very cold, is very detached, is very, um, could be judgmental, but also very discerning, right? And they don't take no, they don't take bullshit. They see through things. They uh, point out or, you know, um, how do I say that? Like, they call out on people. Uh, they don't care really what the consequences are for them calling things out or calling people out. And the King of Wands is very much like wanting to be the leader, wanting to be, on, you know, on top of things, being uh, the, the alpha dog. You know what I mean? Like uh, they're they're definitely very confident and could be indicated as well as a very arrogant, charming individual that does what they want and they don't really. Uh, listen to other people they can be very stubborn as well and I feel like these two energies did not really match in the past and that's why things are now changing for both of your energies to match energetically because both of you have learned um, some type of mastery here that's what I'm hearing like it could be emotional mastery it could be uh, mastery when it comes to your actions, right? Uh, especially, for example, if, if, if the feminine is a fire sign, they can be very much like action oriented and uh, that could ca kind of like cause some type of in, um, intervention, intervention with the masculine energy. Because the masculine energy, if they have some wounding to heal, uh, they can be very much in their feminine energy and the feminine energy, okay, See, something is going wrong here. <laughs> Sorry. And the feminine energy, now I've lost it. The feminine energy embodying the masculine body uh, could be very receptive and cold, um, short off, and still holding grudges in regards to the past. And they want to be chased by the feminine masculine energy. So a lot of things are a little bit mismatched or were a little bit mismatched, but it is coming into a more flow, okay? Five of Wands, see? This is the conflict. Do I want to... You know, I feel like this is the conflict that has been going on between these two people. Jealousy, competition. This fiery energy could have been very competitive or igniting competition within the other person. 
but yeah this is a challenge this challenge is you can be overcoming this challenge, but there is a clear communication that is needed. Um, some, some type of addressing of the toxic patterns is definitely very much needed or jealousy or competition. These are the things that need to be addressed with this Ace of Swords in order to cut through this toxic energy or toxic pattern. All right. Uh, we even have the judgment here. So there is going to be some type of a redo. Um, a reawakening, seeing things clearly and having a new judgment on a toxic pattern here with this devil. Hmm. I also see that someone has been involved though, involved in multiple toxic uh, situations here or relationships. That could be the king of wands. <clears throat> four of pentacles yeah this king of wands could have been holding on to 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 different people here just to make the other person jealous or to gain a lot of attention from other people and this queen of cups i feel like <clears throat> has been very intuitive in sensing all of this and has cut herself free back in the past with this queen of swords energy as well so with the hangman coming through uh, i feel like this king of wands has changed up their mind they have seen that the people and the places that they were hanging out with um, were a poor judgment and it was killing their sense of creativity uh, because we do have also the artist coming out in the reverse. So this this King of Wands energy was feeling um, perhaps even depressed or uh, a lack of inspiration in their surrounding or a lack of inspiration within their um, dating scenarios. You know what I mean? And it made them retreat and rethink and recoup their decisions. And now they're, they're finally ready to, um, to step out of this timeout phase. Nine of Swords, this brought them a lot of stress. Interesting. And the High Priestess. So this, this masculine has not been really listening to their intuition, but now their own fears and anxieties are pushing them to make some type of a change and a difference and surrender to their, um, to their intuition. Okay, and their intuition has been guiding them towards this Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords energy. All right, that was a lot of messages. I hope you guys are not lost in it. Uh, I'm just allowing spirit to channel through me. So take whatever resonates. Look at the bottom of the deck, unconditional love coming through. That's the two, that's the queen of cups and the king of cups. We have Socrates. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. I feel like this is this is the King of Cups. Like I said, they want to manifest this relationship, and they have all that it takes to manifest it. And they will be also getting a lot of support as well. And something that they felt like is impossible with this unicorn is about to happen for them. And it says, love yourself, others, and every situation, no matter what the outward appearance may be. So releasing any type of judgment is definitely very necessary here. Trust your instincts, animal guardian. So you might be receiving messages from animals. Um, maybe you have like a pet and the pet is trying to tell you something or um, is guiding you as well. Listen closely with an open heart. You have faith, humanity, and benevolence. Stay calm, trust the good in yourself and others, and see the light in the world. 
So maybe it's really all talking about releasing judgments in regards to the counterpart, okay? Because that is definitely very much indicated here. Uh, trust in the good of people. Trust in um, in your person as well. Trust that they are seeing the light and that their crown chakra is being awakened for more awareness in regards to what this relationship or this connection means to them. Uh, it also says move beyond ancestral patterns. So it could be that you um, you or your person have been influenced by or by the by their parents or by their upbringing and it's time for them to break through uh, the paradigms or break through any type of um, generational clothes okay that's what i'm picking up on so that's what i have for you pisces uh, that was a whole mouthful of messages i really hope you got anything out of it if you did make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already and i thank you so much i will be continuing with the extended the link will be down in the description box below this video and i'll catch you guys soon ciao